So we're going to look for the intersection of two planes now. So that looks like this. You've got the blue plane and the yellow plane, and where they intersect is that dotted line down the middle, and so you can see that it creates a line. Now the equations of these two planes, we're just going to use an example to help you to see what's going on here. So the yellow one has the equation of x plus 2y plus z equals 4, and the blue plane is 2x minus 3y equals 6. So you first of all set one of your variables to be 0. That would mean that x would be 3 and z would be 1, just putting it into those equations there. So I've used the blue equation. If you put y equals 0 into there, you get that x has to be 3. And then if you take x is 3 and y is 0 and put it into the yellow one, you get that z has to be 1. So this gives us a point that is on the line because it satisfies both of the equations for the planes. We'll do that again for one of the other variables, so we can get another point on the line. And now we have two points on the line, we can find the vector equation that runs between those two points. So the direction vector for the line would be one of those vectors minus the other one. Since they're two position vectors, we can just subtract them to get the uh, vector for going from one to the other. So then the equation of the line will be r equals, and then we need to use one of those vectors as a position vector to get us up onto the line, and then the direction vector multiplied by lambda, so any multiple of that direction vector. Okay, now the angle between two planes. So we're, we're looking at it side on now, um, same as the diagram we just had on the previous uh, slide, but we're just looking at the end of it. So the angle here um, I'm going to call theta, is the angle between those two planes there. Now it, you might be asked to do the um, acute angle or the, um, the obtuse angle between them. So first of all with this we need to think about the normal to the planes, like this. So you can get the normal to each of those two planes and that's quite easy to read off from the equation of the plane. Now, if we think about that little kite um, portion in the middle, then since you have those normals cr uh, crossing the plane at right angles, and the angles of a quadrilateral have to add up to 180, then you know that a plus b also has to make 180. Now, a and theta lie on a straight line, so a plus theta also is 180. This means that b is the same as theta. So we can find the angle between two planes by working out that angle b, which is the angle between their normals, and that's much easier to do. So here's our example. I'm going to use those same planes again that we just had. Now the normal to the first one, we just take those coefficients of x, y, z, and the normal to the second one, and then we use the scalar product to find the angle between them. Now in this case the scalar product gave us uh, the obtuse angle. Um, we could uh, then, it would depend on the question of what particularly you were being asked for. You might then need to take it away from 180 to make 63.1. So you need to be careful with the wording of the questions on these ones, whether it asks you for the acute angle between the planes or not.